sweet. Oh, here we go. Oh, you did? She basically was uh, addressing poverty. Mm -hmm. So who is it? What's your name? Maria Elena Moyano. Okay, what is she's from Peru? She was an Afro-Peruvian, uh, basically, she was a community organizer. Mm -hmm. uh, who was uh, basically addressing poverty through soup kitchens and local organizing and women's empowerment. Um, and she had, I think, I can't remember if her program was like called Gota de Leche or if it was called something else, but uh, but basically there was the, the terrorist organization during the 80s and 90s who was trying to address poverty through violence. Mm -hmm. And she, they killed her because she was addressing it peacefully. Um, so she got assassinated, but... I have a lot to learn still about her because our program didn't focus on her. On her but. What was her name? Maria Elena Moyano, and you can actually find in the Peru reader. There's like there's like the Cuba reader, Peru reader, mm. Mexico reader, but you can find an ex excerpts from her uh, writings and stuff. She's a which part of Peru? You were telling me. Uh, I can't remember. The coast. It's, it's off of the coast. It's like uh, it's actually it's this squatter like settlement. It's the shanty town called Villa El Salvador. Okay. Started in the 70s when people came to seek work in the urbanized, industrialized uh, capital, and uh, they started that specific settlement there by just squatting on the land and refusing to leave. And then it grew to about now it's about 400,000 people. And uh, so yeah, it's it's shanty town, you know, but it's it's a very cool place, very very cool place, very uh, very strong like. My, my professor knows a guy named Miguel. I stayed with his family. He's organizing very left-leaning um, political guy. So they're organizing, you know, again, you know, for fairness and justice and uh, empowerment in, in the face of these same, pretty much the same issues. But uh, we'll see. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I can't even like really give.